Good afternoon YouTube folks. I'd just like to take you through the menu options that I get on my BMW S1000R since I've had the first service and had the Dynamic Pro dongle uh, fitted under my seat. I say I had it fitted, I fitted it myself, it's actually quite easy. One Dynamic Pro coding plug, looks like it only goes in one way. So, where are you there you are. Sweet. I imagine that's all the way in. Oh, the clip's got a little uh, arrow in there, so it actually really locks into position. Yep, that's in. And I reckon that's in. We are encoded. Since the Dynamic Pro dongle's been plugged in it's made available a couple of more menu options now currently you can see that I'm in dynamic mode only which is one of the standard modes you get without that dongle plugged in and if I go into the settings I access by pressing info set up menu enter hold the info button down to kind of enter menus I've got basically two menus here I've got setup for equipment dash settings light settings setup for racetrack things like doing lap timers and things of that ilk and exit so let me get back out of there oh didn't hold the button long enough exit so I'm going to put my mode now into dynamic pro as you can see there selected just by pressing the mode button and now I'm going to get into the setup menu again and I've got the two menus but now I've got setup Dyna pro so I'm going to get into that menu there's basically three options in here for you to look at. ABS settings, traction control settings, and engine, uh, engine map throttle response settings. And reset. And exit. So if I go to ABS, I'm currently on this mode called Diner, but let me uh, find the first setting. Let me cycle through. Road Dynamic, Dynamic Pro. So Road is the um, biggest nanny of them all. It's the uh, most uh, intrusive ABS setting, more likely to uh, cut in. And that's the mode that gets used if you're riding in rain mode as well. Dynamic mode is less intrusive. And Dynamic Pro does a couple of things. A, it's the least intrusive ABS mode. So as it says in the manual, the shortest stopping distances are realized, or something along those lines. Also, it disables rear wheel lift detection, which means you can do stoppies uh, with this mode, which uh, it doesn't really want you to do on the other two modes. But it also does something else which you might find a bit unexpected in Dynamic Pro mode. It disables ABS Pro, which essentially is corner in ABS. So this bike has corner in ABS, but that is disabled when you're in Dynamic Pro mode. So let's uh, move on. Moving on to uh, the traction control, dynamic traction control, and the combined wheelie control. This hasn't got a separate wheelie control setting. So let's go and see the options. What we have is uh, rain from the beginning, road, dynamic, and dynamic pro. So rain, most intrusive uh, traction control, uh, and wheelie control. Basically it won't let you wheelie. That's, uh, that's the idea behind it anyway. Uh, road mode, less intrusive traction control, and it will allow small wheelies according to the manual. You can feel it when you're trying to make good progress in first or second gear. You can feel the uh, traction control kicking in to keep the front end down. So it's not just traction control, it is trying to uh, stop wheelies. Dynamic mode allows bigger small wheelies. <laughs> it'll still allow, it will allow the front end to come up a bit more. Uh, and that can surprise you if you're not very good at wheelies like me. Dynamic Pro mode uh, still does traction control. It uh, still allows some traction control. For instance, if you're perhaps stupidly in this mode, but you're in slick or cold conditions, it will still try and uh, stop the wheel spinning, but just to a lesser degree uh, than the other uh, free modes.
but uh, it disables wheelie control altogether. So potentially in this mode, you can loop your bike. Uh, but as it says also in manual, maximum acceleration is achieved. And that's it. So um, for dynamic pro mode, then I have that set for my traction control. Engine, next. If I get into that menu, there's only two choices actually. Uh, rain mode, rain throttle response, soft throttle response, and dynamic, just the two choices. So you've got the full map, full fat. Obviously it's still subject to your traction control settings, um, but uh, yeah, you've got uh, full throttle response basically there. And what's uh, kind of nice is uh, if I switch away from dynamic pro mode, let's put it in road, and then switch it back to uh, dynamic pro, what it will do is summarize the current settings on the screen. So ABS Dyna, DTC Dyna Pro, Engine Dyna, and that's it. So we're gonna go through the settings, show you what you got. Uh, also, if I leave it in dynamic pro, turn the bike off, turn it back on again, It also shows you the settings as well. Okay, well, thanks for uh, having a look with me, and uh, I'll see you again soon. See ya.